The Spectral Truce, Uniting Pranks and Spirits in Schuyler Hall In the heart of Pendleton University, nestled within the creaky corridors of Schuyler Hall, there was a dormitory unlike any other. It was known far and wide as, Prankster's Paradise, where mischief thrived, and laughter echoed through the night. But this year, something extraordinary was about to unfold, a tale of spectral trickery that would leave everyone bewildered. It all began on a gloomy October night when the clock struck midnight, and the dormitory was cloaked in darkness. A chilling breeze swept through the hallways, and an eerie hush fell over the building. Unbeknownst to the students, a legend whispered through generations was about to come to life. In the midst of this ominous silence, a flicker of ghostly light appeared. From the shadows emerged the specter of Skylar Hall, a headless ghost with a penchant for pranks. His name was Cedric, a former student who had met an unfortunate end decades ago, the details of which had long been lost to history. Cedric reveled in mischief, and he decided it was time to reclaim the dormitory he once called home. His spectral form moved silently through the dormitory, orchestrating pranks that sent shivers down the spines of even the most daring pranksters. Doors slammed, objects floated mysteriously, and eerie laughter echoed through the corridors. As fear began to grip the students, retaliation was inevitable. The living and the spectral beings entered into an all-out prank war. Students devised elaborate schemes involving fake spiders, exploding confetti, and slippery floors, while Cedric responded with ghostly apparitions and spine-tingling whispers in the dead of night. The escalating battle reached a fever pitch, each side trying to outwit the other. A student named Emma, known for her ingenious pranks, decided to investigate the history of Skylar Hall. She spent countless hours in the dusty archives, unearthing old documents and long-forgotten records. What she discovered would forever alter the course of the prank war. It turned out that Cedric, the mischievous ghost, had once been a lonely and misunderstood student who had tragically died by accident during a particularly ill-conceived prank. He had returned to the dormitory with a simple desire, to relive the joyous camaraderie of his college years. Emma decided to put an end to the prank war and grant Cedric's heartfelt wish. She organized a grand, ghost-friendly prank night, where both the living and the spectral entities could come together in laughter and celebration. As the clock struck midnight, Skylar Hall was filled with the joyous sounds of laughter, both human and ghostly. Cedric, once a prankster in torment, now felt a sense of closure and belonging. The dormitory became a place of unity, where the living and the spectral could coexist in harmony. And so, in the heart of Prankster's Paradise, a ghostly prank war gave way to a heartwarming alliance, proving that even in the most unexpected places, understanding and empathy can bridge the divide between the living and the beyond. The legend of Skylar Hall would live on, not as a tale of terror, but as a story of redemption and the enduring power of camaraderie, with Emma, the peacemaker, at its heart.